Yes, uh, IGF uh, is uh, a big, a big concept, uh, and under IGF there are a lot of issues to be discussed. One of the issues is uh, the issue of language, that uh, the making of internet multilingual. So by uh, you know by making internet uh, speak the language of the whole population of the earth, and reflecting the culture of uh, different uh, uh, groups then we can make it more richer, more richer and more useful than those who can only speak a uh, specific uh, language, you know. It can be made much more diversified in such uh, a way that it serves the whole population on Earth without, without you know, the restrictions and limitations of language and culture. So why I'm here is uh, just uh, uh, because I'm involved on uh, language aspect of uh, electronic contents and uh, we have our uh, group uh, consortium, Native Language uh, Internet Consortium, and which promotes this concept and then I'm one of them who represented my country, not actually the academics, not the government representative, and uh, would like to talk, would like to make a, uh, uh, a talk on what we should do in the future to make this objective attainable. Uh, well, uh, well, we have to respect what has been done so far. So far, a lot of technological advances, a lot of people uh, benefiting. Uh, uh, from uh, internet, even the economy. Uh, now, while we can make this internet uh, a big invention of humankind, uh, much more uh, useful the, for a broader uh, population. Uh, that's the idea. And for that, you know, uh, well, definitely dominating, uh, there are dominating languages. Uh, well, that's good as far as they serve certain humanity group. Uh, uh, but there are more uh, to serve. There are uh, many uh, uh, groups and language groups and uh, who are not, uh, which are not, uh, you know, considered uh, to get this service. So let us let's do something to get uh, the most out of internet. That's the issue. Yeah. Let's do more and let's make this electronic content, whatever the language is. Whatever the script is, the internet is capable of doing it. So uh, let us uh, communicate. A friend of mine has been telling us, te telling us, telling me uh, this uh, um, today that in Korea, for example, 95 percent of the population communicates or use internet in Korean language. So suppose if a person doesn't know English language or any other language that are now currently being used on internet? Should it be con condemned not to use internet? No. So let's do something so that uh, others who do not get the chance to use their own language to, the most out, to get the most out of internet and to do, do, do diversify the use of internet. All, all who care for this, you know, all uh, governments they have their role, uh, academics they have their own their role to do, and organizations such as the UN and other you know uh, interest group organizations can do their best uh, to make this objective attainable. I think. At least I can say that there is a language barrier, uh, and uh, this is avoidable with uh, some work uh, and uh, imagine what percentage of the population on earth uh, speaks or writes understands English language. Uh, maybe I, I have read not more than 10 percent. What are the rest of the world? And, uh, and you know particularly if you consider Africa well there are more constraints of course not only the language uh, access is another one thing Affordability is another issue. Uh, while these issues are issues to be considered in broader sense, uh, language, which I'm concerned with, should not be a barrier as well. So let's do, let's do something. That's uh, the, the issue. 
well, why not? English has been, uh, well, it's good that we, we're happy that English advances and, uh, and uh, shows the way and uh, shows the possibilities and becomes a media. But, you know, if you don't speak English, you shouldn't be condemned not to uh, be part of this uh, uh, technology. Well, for the future, is, uh, well, the Internet is uh, a, a very marvelous technology uh, and has, has been serving the world uh, to its uh, level. And the future, that my wish is everybody, without any restriction, whatever the constraints or restrictions are, economic or affordability or, I mean, access uh, and language, that every humankind be part of this technology, benefit from this technology. And uh, that's, I think, uh, possible. And uh, at the current stage, it's not, it's not uh, well, the coverage of internet is not as, as, broad as, it, as broad as it can be. And I think uh, that can be expanded and be made better. Well, uh, well, one thing is communication, uh, you know, access to knowledge, access to information. Uh, well, uh, we are, we are, uh, we are uh, on the same world, uh, which nowadays is being influenced by globalization. We share the same resource of this earth, and uh, well, the same knowledge applies everywhere in most places. So communication is a, big, a very important uh, component. And now we say the economy even is highly uh, being uh, dominated uh, to be knowledge economy, uh, information everywhere. So uh, everybody who is capable of, I mean, every human being should be part of uh, this technology. It's, it's why, well, I wish to see that, that everybody without restriction uh, be part of, you know, shares something from uh, this technology. And that's attainable, I think, I feel if there is a good will of uh, the different parties, I mean, different individuals.